animal gods of ancient Egypt. The phenomenon of animal worship among ancient Egyptians dates back to the prehistoric times. The gods of each tribe were believed to take on earthly shape in the form of various animals. Some 40 different species have been identified as sacred animals. Animal cults were common throughout ancient Egypt and reached a zenith in the Greco-Roman period. The cults focused on one specific animal in whom the spirit of the god would reside. The chosen animal would be worshipped for the duration of the animal's life, and upon its death, it would be mummified, and another one would take its place. The apis bull is probably one of the most famous of all cult animals. It was associated with the god Ptah. It had special markings. It was entirely black, with the exception of a white diamond on its forehead double hairs on its tail, and an image of an eagle on its back. One apis bull was chosen at a time, and its appointment was a cause for great ceremony and fertility rituals. During its lifetime, the apis bull lived a life of luxury. The cult survived until the year 598, when the Romans destroyed the burial site. Toth was the god of wisdom and learning, the patron of the scribal profession. It was often depicted as an ibis and in the body of a man and the head of a bird. The most celebrated cult center was found in Hermopolis. Toth could also be found in another version as a baboon. This version developed from the ancient great white monkey god of the early dynastic era. A cult center to the baboon version of Toth was established at Tuna al Gebel. Horus, the falcon god, was the sun god, the king of gods, and his earthly successors, the kings of Egypt. Horus became closely identified with the pharaoh himself. Sobek, the crocodile god, represented first as a water and fertility god, and later as a primordial god with whom the elements of sun, earth, and sea were united. At Medina al Fayyam and Qom al sanctuaries were devoted to Sobek. Bastet, the cat god, derived from the legend of the eye of the sun transformed into a hostile lioness, which was then pacified to become the cat, the image of the goddess Bastet or Bast. Temples concentrated to the goddess Bastet were built in Bubastis. Bastet is depicted either as a cat's head on a woman's body or in purely feline form. From the late period onwards, thousands of small bronze cat effigies were placed at Bubastis. If Bastet were the yin, then Sekhmet was the yang. Sekhmet was depicted as the lioness head on a woman's body or in purely feline form. Anubis, the jackal god, was depicted as a jackal head on a human body or in pure canine form. Anubis was associated with a wild jackal native to the Nile Valley called Canis lupaster. Anubis was the divine embalmer, lord of the dead, protector of human burials. On a mummified human, the image of Anubis was featured on a toe tag, along with the name of the deceased, for body identification. 